But to me, it really means a lot. Uh, I'm proud of words in Shua here. It's oh, really emotional. Uh, we outside in the club, uh, I thought uh, I was able to speak to yourself or at least make a relationship with you. So to me and my family, it really means a lot. Uh, to the team as well, uh, the way they welcome me, the way great, the hard work put on the training session, the stuff. It's really amazing to, to see from where I come from, the commitment from, the, from each and every day, uh, uh, management, technical team, the support they give to us. They always go an extra mile, so to me, in the club, it really means a lot. We just Um, evening, everyone. Well, when it comes to leadership qualities, I think there's a couple of guys in the team, uh, you know, Sage, and but I think Coach Steve spoke a lot of time, and he believed we can come back. Um, he believed in our substitutions. You know, he told them they can make the difference, and for me, they did. Um, but when it comes to leaders, seniors in the team, there's, there's, there's a few of them. And I think tonight, all, all of them stood up. Sorry, Jake. Listener, can you keep the microphones on all the time? Just cover them on as it should be. Thank you. And I'm just saying for, for, for me, uh, what is your job description now? Because the club of teams, uh, I'm assuming they also said to the play, you are hiding playing in the What are you there for? <laughs> <laughs> no, a valid question. Um, I'm, there for, I'm there to challenge. Um, at the moment, they're doing really well. Um, if you challenge each other, that's, that's where the quality comes out. And you can see by Sage's performance, even Oscar's performance. So I'm still a player, I'm still challenging. Until the club say, hey, you had enough. <laughs> so I'm still there, I'm still fighting. It's not easy, they both quality people. And I think every team that, I don't want to speak about other teams, but if you look at other teams, they're struggling there. Yeah, <laughs> let's leave it. <laughs> Uh, Daryl, the way I understand that you were invited to train at Stellenbosch up in Joburg when they came for a match, uh, just tell us that story. How did that happen? Did something did your agent get it there? How did you get to that training? Because I understand that Ivanka took 10 minutes and said, sign that guy. So, what happened? How did you get to that training session? Uh, I was training with Kesri. I was supposed to, to sign with Kesri actually, but they have a report from. So, oh, the call really changed my life, I could say. I was like uh, an hour away from selling Kesra. As so, oh. it's really, it's a lot. It's yeah, it was. It was very emotional. Yeah, sorry, Daryl. I, uh, I also. My question is along the same lines, but let me see. Just how difficult was that period? I mean, as a guys and chiefs, we saw that we come to the late survey for a lot of the players that are the similar, similar age that are still playing there now to almost thinking you might not play in the top line. I mean, you're about to sign for a, for a lower league team. Just that period for you, how, how challenging was it for, for your character? It was, it was very, it was very. Hard. Uh, at some point, uh, I wanted to like, call it quits, but uh, because of, I'd like to, to thank my mom actually. She, she, she really encouraged me uh, not to give up, uh, keep pushing. Just one team or that call will definitely come and it is on the right time actually.
ሊሰሩ
for the football club, it, it creates dreams, um, a, a dream I had, but I had to leave home early. So it's, for me, it's definitely more than a football club. Um, and we always try and give back to the community. Yes. Sacrifice. I had to tell myself, talk to myself. Uh, I had to work extra hard because in my mind, this was like my last opportunity to be a top play football. And the coach had given me the opportunity to do so. so I didn't want to disappoint the coach for trusting me and giving me the opportunity to showcase what I can do for over the club. So thinking about my like background situation where I come from, I had to push like put that extra mile, uh, extra work, work hard, stay humble. Yeah, I had to take the risk because of, first of all, the money. <laughs> the money, obviously, the country cover is going to earn less than what I earn a year, so it triggered me to work hard and the change of environment and to leave my family, my daughter, to come work here so I couldn't let them down in a way. So yeah. Well the coach had a proper go in us. Uh, I think I think the first half we didn't play well. Um, he believed and I think we all believed we, we could do a lot better. And I think that the way he went at us helped a lot. Um, his, his leadership qualities is one of the best I've worked with. Um, the trust he's got in us as players, you can see down the field, he, he's not scared to play a youngster. And um, for us as senior players, there's a fine line when it comes to to encourage a youngster, do this, do this, don't do that. Um, it's it's not easy, but you can see how they're growing and how they're performing nowadays. Thank you very much, Jeffrey.